Okay, now that you know a little bit about using the standard brush inside a ZBrush, uh, let's take a look at a few other brushes that uh, will be beneficial to you. As we get started, I wanted to show you that uh, ZBrush has got this cool kind of feature whenever you um, actually go and sculpt with the program. If you save your project, if you say File, Save As, and you do this Undo History, um, it actually has the history of like the sculpting session that you do, and it saves all the undos. And it saves it in this undo history like this. So you can actually scroll forward and you can scroll backwards in time uh, for a sculpting session. And let's say you uh, didn't like the design choice that you had for this and you kind of wanted to scroll back and kind of go say, okay, I kind of like my model at about this point. And you could start sculpting uh, from that point on if you wanted. Um, it would erase all the history afterwards if you do that, but um, it at least gives you that kind of option to explore designs and have a little bit of fun that way. So I wanted to call that out, and it was just kind of a um, easy way for me to say I've got something that I sculpted, and I can load that up, and maybe it'll make a little bit of sense jumping from the last video to this video, and what you see here. So I'm going to show you a few different brushes that uh, maybe were used on uh, sculpting this thing out here. Um, and the other thing that I do want to focus in on this video is how do we start saving our brushes to our interface and start maybe saving some hotkeys. So I'll talk to you about the interface and the hotkeys um, all at the same time with this one. So to enable the ability to uh, do something with the interface and store some stuff on here, we have to go to preferences and we have to go to config and then we have to say enable customize. So as soon as we do that, you can see the interface kind of changes a little bit, it kind of shifts a little bit, um, lets you kind of know you're in this mode of uh, being able to take some brushes and things like that. Um, so now this is kind of the weird thing about, you would think maybe I can take this icon and drag it down here and that'll show my brush. But this is whatever the current brush is that you're currently using. If you want to drag out smaller icons, which I would, I'd go to brush and you can dock this over to like the left or to the right. Um, now if you don't see this open on the left, let's go ahead and open that up like that and we can say brush and we can dock it over here like this. So um, what we used last time was if we go to B and then S and then go to our standard brush, uh, let's find standard right here, like that. Um, you can see here's the smaller icon for this. It's got the bigger one, this is the current brush that we got, and then this is the smaller one, it'll be probably somewhere in this area. You can hold down Control and Alt, and then you can click and drag, and you can uh, dock this into different areas. I'm gonna go ahead and put my brushes right down in here. This is kind of where I want them to be for me. So their standard brush, um, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to use, um, let's see, the move brush. I know we're gonna use that. So we'll do um, B, M, and then find move, and then find the move brush on there. And um, we should be able to see it right maybe in here. Uh, you can see that this is actually highlighted and selected, so that means it's got this kind of gray thing that's actually highlighted. I'm going to hold on Control Alt again and then click and then we're going to drag out like this. Now I know um, there's another brush type that I really like and that's Damien Standard, so if we do B and then D, and then we can do uh, Dam Damn Standard or Damien Standard. Um, we can hold on Control and Alt and let's find that one. It's right here. Control Alt and drag out like that for that one and then maybe we got a brush over here for this another brush that I really like is using clay tubes so let's just do B and then C and then find clay tubes um, you might like clay buildup or something like that um, but here it is it exists here again I'm just kind of finding it it's highlighted it makes it a little bit easier to find control and alt click and drag I actually like that as my third brush um, like this and then I'll take my move brush and I put that as my fourth brush. Um, let's grab an H polish. So we'll go to B and then H and that's the only brush that's in that H category so it just kind of exits out real quick. Control and Alt and we can drag that over here like this. And um, another one that I'll use is maybe polish so we'll do B and then P and then find polish right here. And you see it's highlighted right there. Control and Alt. I'm going to drag out like this. And you can see it, it can go down just a little bit. Like it's just a little bit weird with uh, dragging in the interface. Just kind of pay attention to that. Make sure everything's nice and straight for it. 
Um, I'm going to use inflate, so I'll do B and then I and then find uh, inflate right there, like that. And control and alt and drag it out right there. And then we'll do layer, so we'll do B and then L. I'll find layer, control and alt and drag out for that, like this. And we'll do morph which that's a very special kind of brush but uh, anyways um, if we get to that we'll explain some of that B and then M and um, let's find the morph brush control and alt and I'll click and drag that out and then uh, trim dynamic and so we'll do B and then T and okay um, so B and then T and find trim dynamic and hold on control and alt and click and drag that out so this works with any of the brushes. Right now I'm just trying to show you brushes. We're not going to get too too um, crazy into things. Um, I think I think that should probably be enough for right now. I've, I've got other tools that I use, but I, I just want to focus in on the brushes right now for this. All right, an important step is after you've got your interface kind of all put together is you need to come up here to Preferences, and then just like we enabled the Customize, we're going to close that out so we disable that option and you can see the interface kind of shifts and goes back to this kind of default position. Okay so to save this interface um, and you want this to load every single time ZBrush loads up you can go to preferences and you go to config and you say store config. Now um, if you want to save this out and I would highly suggest that you start saving your UI and then you can load it up at a later time because basically I've got a much more complex UI um, system so if I want to load that up and I want to have this more simple one for doing some earlier videos or something like that, I can save out the UI and I can load it. So this is where you load and save your UI. So I'm just going to say save uh, UI and um, I'm going to go call this uh, just something for me, make Z, uh, simple brushes, something like that, and custom interface 2018. I'll just leave it there for that. So I'll save that and um, again if I wanted to um, load up some different interfaces that does come with some default interfaces like this. Now the thing that kind of stinks to me is that uh, you do these interfaces and go through them um, it doesn't go back to that one that you had kind of loaded so that's why I would want to uh, make sure I've got that kind of um, saved off so if we go to preferences and go to config and say load UI all we got to do is load that thing back up and we've got this UI system that we've got so I'm gonna go ahead and just stop this video right here for that and then the next one we'll actually get into looking at each one of these different brushes and why I think they're kind of handy why they're kind of important